Hey everyone, today I'll be helping my client who runs a restaurant in Singapore. His Resto Pizzo restaurant is quite famous for their crispy and delicious crust. Quickly adapting to COVID, he wants to take lunch orders from his customers online and deliver it directly to their address. In order to help him, I'm going to build a restaurant order form that looks like this. In this video, I'll show you how to create this order form using Google Forms and Neartail add-on. I chose Neartail because it's a Google Forms based solution. It allows me to add calculations and customization on top of the Google Forms. And I still get all the orders consolidated in Google Sheets. Okay, let's get started. First, I go to the Neartail add-on website. You can find the link from the video description below. First, I click on Try it free. I see a number of templates, and I want to try one of these templates to see how it works. If it suits my needs, I will then customize it with the menu of my customer's restaurant. Out of these templates, I choose the a la carte menu restaurant order form template. I see a preview of the form and an option to copy it. So I click on make a copy on the template preview screen. Then I proceed to create a copy of this form to my Google Drive. And as you can see, the copy of the Google form opens in the edit mode. For now, I'm just interested in testing this form to see if it suits my client's needs. Here, I see important instructions on where to customize the form with Neartail add-on. So I click on the add-on icon, Neartail, and then customize this form. If you haven't already installed the add-on before, it'll ask you to install the add-on. But since I already have it installed, I see your order form is ready. You can further customize it or preview it. After clicking on preview, I see this Google form template in a cleanly designed web page. Wow, the sample menu looks so yummy. I go ahead and quickly test this template form. I choose the ones I like from each of the categories here. As you can see, the total amount is changing dynamically as I choose the products. I click on next. The summary of the order is well consolidated under the section titled Place Your Order, so I get an idea of what I ordered. Here I enter my contact details and delivery address, and then I finally click on Place Order. Now let's check if I actually received this test order. So I go back to my Google Forms, and as you can see I click on the Responses tab where the order is waiting for me. There you go, I have the order and the order amount which is exactly what I want to collect from the customers. Perfect. With options for different menu categories and total, summary calculations, this template form precisely suits the needs of my customer. Now I want to customize this template form with the lunch menu of Resto Pizzo Restaurant. Now, in order to do that, in this Google Forms template, I go to the Questions tab where I'll change the images and product details and prices. I have the lunch menu printed and handy here. I have a great variety of items to offer with four categories in the menu, including salads, pizzas, on the sides, and desserts with four dishes in each of these categories. In this Google Forms template here, the first section is entirely to list the menu and the next one is to ask for the customer's contact and delivery details. So I now start with changing this Google Form to Resto Pizzo's menu. I'm going to start right from the form title and modify each Google Form question one by one. I change the form title to Resto Pizzo Restaurant Order Form. I like the description and it actually suits my client's business, so I leave it as is. Okay, here comes the name for the first category. It's a simple title and description. Starting with the first question, Club Sandwich, I change it to Resto Signature Salad. I change the price to 7 Singapore dollars and 50 cents. When I change the price, I will follow certain rules. I will always use the currency first and then the amount. I will be consistent in using the same format across all the products for all its prices. Later, Neartail will look for the price information with this pattern to perform its calculations of the price. I then change the image with the picture of their scrumptious signature salad. Looks very appetizing, right? For this type of question, I leave it to drop down because mostly Resto gets its order from offices and customers place group lunch orders, usually up to five numbers. In the next question, 
Instead of the green club sandwich, I change it to the all-time favorite Caesar salad. I change the price and then I upload the image. Again, I leave the question type to drop down. While you keep watching me, I will go ahead changing the entire menu of this template form with Resto's menu and deleting the other products from this template. How do you like Resto's menu? Because I know I'm hungry. All right, so I'm done with changing the menu. At the end of this section, I see a question which says order amount. Here's where I'll be adding the formula to calculate the total using Neartail add-on. So I'll keep it as such. Now, on the next section, place your order. I see there are four questions to ask for contact details, name, phone, email, and delivery address. These will also work for Resto's delivery, so I'll keep them as they are. Now my form looks complete, except for the calculations that I need to add for total amount and order summary. So, from the add-on menu, I click on Neartail to further customize it. I click on Customize this form. It says your order form is ready. You can customize it further or preview it. Look at my menu neatly stacked here, kind of like the display in my client's restaurant. It looks so nice, I almost forgot that I'm working on Google Forms now. Now let's get back to the formula part. I scroll down to order amount question and I click on the gear icon. There, the sidebar opens up. It has options to configure or change the question, answer and add custom CSS. I click on answer to see the formula already added for me when I copied the template. The total dollars formula has the currency in it. Since we're using Singapore dollars, I'll change it to total of SGD. I want to check the order summary calculation now. I click on the gear icon next to place your order. In the question description, I see another formula added here, summary true true within a dollar symbol and curly braces. Just to make things clear, this dollar symbol here has nothing to do with your currency symbol but it's rather a part of the formula syntax that you need to use irrespective of which currency you deal with. Whether it's American dollars or Euro, you leave this dollar symbol with curly braces as it is. Within the summary formula, there are two true-false parameters. The true-false is to say whether to add all fields across all sections of the form. I recommend that you always leave it to true. Now that I'm finished with the formulas for total amount and order summary, I can now share this form with Resto's customers. By clicking on the share button here, I get a short URL which my client can send to their users via email. Now it's time for one final check. I'm going to do test orders by entering my choices. The total amount and order summary is neatly calculated before I submit the form. So I place my order and hope to receive an email confirmation. There we go. In 10 minutes, I customize the Neartail's order form template to make it work for my needs. You too can pick this template and customize it as you want, with the list of items that you sell at your store and some great pictures. Just one tip before I leave you to work. Don't forget to add the top sellers in the top of your list. Your customers will love it. Once you are successful with your forms, please share the URL of your form with us. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please don't hesitate to ask us any questions at neartail at guesswork.co at any time. We will be more than happy to see your beautiful forms. See you soon.